All right, everybody. First routine that we're going to do is negative pull-ups, but with a band. Now, the skinnier and the thinner the band is, the harder it's going to be for you. Okay, the thicker it is, obviously, the more it's going to help you. So, I'm going to go for something that's um, real skinny, and it's going to make it harder for me because I'm going to do what's called negatives. And this is for beginners, okay? So, you just want to put one leg in it, grab the bar, and what we're going to do is pull up to the top and we're going to come down as slow as we can. We're going to do 10 of these. is a great routine for beginners people who are trying to get the pull-up down and get more comfortable with it okay it's great because as you're coming down slow you're putting tension on yourself but this band what it does it's gonna help you get up there that way you don't have to jump or anything like that it gives you a little bit of assistance that way when you get to the top pause less than a second and come down as slow as you can that's gonna build that strength that you need in order to master the pull-up okay what we got going on now these are called prison dips that's what I call them some people call them bench dips. Um, what we're gonna do, another beginner little thing you can do, okay? For the beginners, you wanna keep your legs in tight like this, just a little bend at the knees like a 90. Now, in order to make it harder, what you're gonna do is extend the legs all the way out, and eventually you could bring one leg up. But what we're gonna do is a beginner, okay? Now we're gonna hit 20 of these. We're gonna do a high number, because again, this is a beginner type thing. So let's do some high reps. We're in, we're doing calisthenics trying to, to shred that body fat and build that endurance, that muscle endurance, okay? So here we go, arms just outside your shoulders just a little bit, and we're gonna go down, come back up, do 20 of those. Ready? got next we got a little bit of legs and we are going to do some pulse squats now you got regular body squats body squats which are just that now a pulse is you're going to come down then you're going to do a little pulse right after you do the regular squat so watch me again okay just like that okay so here we go we're going to do 25 of these okay ready what we got next is we're gonna be working out the shoulders a little bit of the upper back okay it's another beginner routine instead of doing what my usual incline shoulder press is check this out you want to be standing on your tippy toes a little bit you want your body to be somewhat at a V your legs are gonna be way outside your shoulders and your hands are just gonna be lined up basically with your shoulders 
and you want to be standing on make sure you're standing on your tippy toes come down to your nose just like that okay we're gonna do 15 of those ready Okay, here we go again. We're using the band, same type of band, same thing. We're just gonna be doing chin ups this time. Last time you did pull ups, now we're doing chin ups. Okay, we're doing negatives again. Remember, pausing at the top, maybe less than a second, come down as slow as you can. Okay, ready? I hope y'all enjoy this beginner routine. Remember, rest as needed, but take as least amount of rest as you possibly can and go on to the next thing that I showed you how to do, okay? You want, you want these workouts to be fast paced. Calisthenics is not easy, okay? And it's not something that you can just walk into and you're able to do like you can with weights. This takes a lot of practice and training, okay? And what I'm gonna be doing now on my website is I'm gonna be focusing on more beginners, okay? Um, I want to be able to help people who want to learn how to master the pull-up and eventually get to the muscle-ups and the more crazy things. But it all starts with the, the basic type of things, y'all. And that's what I think I was missing from my last videos. I want, to, I want to get everyone from the base, from the very beginning, and create a good foundation for you. And these type of workouts like you just saw me do, those are the types of things that's, that I'm going to have on there. But there's going to be a whole lot more of it, and it's going to be more detailed. Because you all, you need to start from the bottom and work your way up. And it all starts out with the, the pull-ups, the push-ups, and the dips. Once you master those, everything else comes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be having soon on my website, is creating things just for y'all beginners. And uh, remember, take the least amount of breaks as you possibly can for these workouts. And uh, make sure you subscribe, write me a comment, let me know what you think about my idea. Thanks, y'all.